Today's focus on the video of hatch cover maintenance is on the testing procedures of the water tightness of hatch covers. So this is part of the series of videos I have been making on hatch cover maintenance. So please make sure that you watch all the videos in this series. The links to the other videos are given in the description section below. So today we'll be talking about hatch cover and uh, testing the water tightness of the hatch covers. What are the different ways available to test the water tightness of the hatch covers? So the two most common leak detection tests are the water hose test and the ultrasonic test. Now ultrasonic testing is the preferred method because areas of inadequate hatch sealing are accurately located using this method. Chalk testing gives only an indication of poor compression and potential leaks. Chalk testing is not a leak detection test. There is also the light testing which is also effective but is potentially dangerous because personnel are in a closed dark hole looking for light infiltration between panels. If hatches are found to leak during a test, make the necessary repairs and then test again. So I'll talk about the leak detection test and the chalk testing. But if you didn't understand what a light testing is, basically when the cargo hold is closed, when the hatch cover is closed, you go inside the hatch cover or the hold rather, you go inside the hold and uh, it will really help if it's uh, empty. But if it's not empty, then you can just stand on the side and then you basically look at the hatch cover during the daytime from inside the hold and try to see if there is any kind of light that is penetrating from outside to the inside. If there is, then you, you can detect a leak. If there is not, then you think that the hatch cover must be uh, airtight. So first we'll talk about the water hose leak detection test. Now in water hose tests are used to determine the weather tightness of hatch covers. Basically that means that uh, if water cannot pass through the uh, seals of the hatch covers, then that means it's water tight. Water tight means if it cannot pass through as well as it cannot come out but weather tightness is only one way if a water hose test is correctly performed then hose testing will show the hatch joints that leak the general procedure for hose testing is to apply a powerful jet of water from a 20 to 30 millimeter diameter hose fitted with a 12 millimeter diameter nozzle held at a distance of about one and a half meters from a hatch joint moving along the joint at a speed of about one meter every two seconds the drawbacks of hose testing is that the hold needs to be empty because if the water seeps through the hatch covers then the, some of the cargo may get damaged and there are some cargoes that you cannot afford to get damaged. The testing cannot be performed in sub-zero conditions because of course it will be too cold, nobody wants to handle water, the water may be frozen or the water that you use gets frozen and then there will be accretion of ice. It requires the deck's copper drains to be open because the water needs to flow out of the ship but that has a potential of causing pollution uh, sometimes because uh, of uh, you don't know what will get mixed with before it gets released into the sea. Uh, this test cannot pinpoint the leaks on the cross joint or side joint accurately. It cannot pinpoint it. It can only give an indication that a leak is there in a certain area. Two people are needed to at least supervise this test. Then we have the ultrasonic leak detection test. Now this is a viable alternative to the host test for testing hatch covers, access doors and access hatches for water tightness. This test should only be carried out using class approved equipment and approved test procedures. The test involves placing with hatches closed of course and secure an electronic signal generator inside the cargo hold. A sensor is then passed around the outside of all compression joints as you see in the picture. Readings are taken by the sensor indicate points of low compression or potential points of leakage. Ultrasonic testing overcomes the majority of limitations associated with hose testing and can be carried out when holes are loaded. Drawbacks of, uh, the drawbacks of this ultrasonic leak detection test is that the equipment requires an experienced and specialist operator to interpret the readings. The equipment requires a regular calibration and should be approved by the class of course and the equipment is not normally part of the ship's equipment. So it has to be ordered in extra or you have to request the class surveyor to come in and carry out the inspection. Finally, the chalk testing. When performing a chalk test, the top edge of every compression bar is covered with chalk. 
so again here this is not a hatch cover as per se it's like a watertight uh, entry to a compartment but uh, this is just for you to get an idea of the, you can see that the rubber packing is marked with a chalk around it if you look carefully the man is looking at the rubber packing with a chalk because basically what you do is you the top edge of the compression bar is covered with chalk use the chalk nicely hatches are then fully closed absolutely tight closed and then reopened then the rubber packing is examined for a chalk mark which should run continuously along the packing's center gaps in the chalk mark indicate lack of compression chalk testing merely indicates if hatch panels are aligned and compression achieved it will not show whether compression is adequate and therefore it is not a test for water tightness